Whenever it seems that the world has seen the GOAT, a new athlete comes into the picture and shows the world that she, or he, is the greatest of all time. Well, at least until someone else comes to take away that honor. This year, however, it wasn't easy to say who stood out the most. This season notably saw outstanding performances from gymnasts all over the world. Without further ado, let's talk about Simone Biles, who is arguably the ultimate GOAT, as she has proven time and time again. In fact, Simone is the most decorated female gymnast ever, with 30 world and Olympic medals. This season, she shone the brightest, like she always does even when she doesn't get the gold. She did, however, close out an incredible comeback meet after a two-year layoff by winning gold on the balance beam and floor exercise at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Belgium in early October. Where she took home four gold medals. That brings her to a total of 37 medals between World Championships and the Olympics. Biles won two of those medals this weekend in the balance beam and bar events. After two years away from international competition, she seamlessly resumed her dominance with five medals in Antwerp, winning gold in the all-around, team, balance beam, and floor exercise competitions in addition to silver on the vault. Biles has a record of 37 medals at the World Championships and Olympic Games. The final day of Biles' comeback meet ended with a demonstration of her supreme mental strength and competitive fire. After a long, exhausting competition, the 26-year-old American saved her best balance beam routine for when it was most needed in the final, weaving through without a single balance check. Biles scored 14.800, edging out Zhu Yakin of China by a tenth. Biles closed out her meet by holding off Rebecca Andrade of Brazil to win her fourth gold medal on the floor exercise. Andrade, who beat Biles to gold on vault, has proven a worthy rival, and their mutual admiration was clear. That's not even all. Biles made more history after becoming the first woman to land the Yurichenko double pike vault at an international competition. This means that the extremely difficult vault will be named after her. The move, the hardest vault being done in women's gymnastics right now, will now be called the Biles II in the gymnastics rulebook. The 26-year-old has five gymnastics elements named after her across vault, floor exercise, and the balance beam. After that, she was basically on a roll. And so, led by Simone Biles, the U.S. women won a record seventh consecutive team title at the Gymnastics World Championships. The American team of Biles, Shalise Jones, Sky Blakely, and Leanne Wong combined for a total of 167.729 points to edge Brazil and France. The U.S. team won by a margin of 2.199 points as the final proved to be a closer contest than anticipated, after the Americans put up a dominant performance in qualifying. The U.S. women have won gold in the team event at every World Championships that included a team competition since 2011. Their victory in Antwerp broke a tie with the Chinese men for the longest streak of consecutive team titles and made Biles the most decorated female gymnast in history. It would have been best if Biles was able to win all her events at the Worlds, but it was not the case, unfortunately. It is because of this, however, that it was found noteworthy when Brazilian gymnast Rebecca Andrade denied Biles a 22nd world title by winning the vault competition at the 2023 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp, Belgium. Although Biles tried to reclaim the title she last won in 2019 only a day after she became the most decorated gymnast in history, she failed to do so. She did perform her extremely difficult signature vault that nobody else in the women's competition and only a few men attempt. Still, the fact remains that Andrade got the best of her, at least this time. That said, although Biles' second vault was an excellent chain to finish with a combined score of 14.549, she had to be content with a silver medal, her 28th medal at the World Championships, and her 35th major career medal. This came about after she over-rotated her signature Yurichenko double pike and fell backward on the mat on landing. Andrade, on the other hand, was nearly flawless to snatch the gold medal by 0.201 points. While happy with her result, Andrade said she was disappointed to witness Biles fail in her quest for perfection. I'm happy for my result, but sad about the fall because we know how much athletes train to do this vault, Andrade said through an interpreter. 
When asked whether she would try the Yurichenko double pike in competition, Andrade said it would be a crazy thing to do. I don't have the body for that, she said. Nevertheless, she could still rejoice in her win, right? After all, it is not every day you can defeat the most decorated gymnast. I'm really happy about this for Brazil, it's another gold, Rebecca shared. She then once again earned a gold for Brazil at the 2023 Pan American Games. The Brazilian artistic gymnastics superstar soared to her first career gold medal at the Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile. The win made her the reigning Olympic, World, and Pan Am champion in the event, cementing a legacy of dominance on the apparatus. It's the first gold in women's gymnastics since the Rio 2007 edition for Brazil. Andrade averaged a massive 14.983 points, powered by a near-perfect opening vault that received a 9.733 execution score from the judges. American Jordan Childs claimed silver at 14.150, followed by Mexico's Natalia Escalera with 13.333. Like Biles, it appeared that she was on a roll. Rebecca then made another trip to the top of the podium as she led a Brazilian 1-2 finish on the balance beam on the last day of the artistic gymnastics competition. And so, Andrade left Santiago with four medals, team silver, vault gold, uneven bar silver, and beam gold. Her title on the apparatus is the first for her nation. Even with all that said, Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade are not the only gymnast who performed insanely well this season. There's also China's 18-year-old Zhu Yakin, who stood on the podium with Biles and Andrade in the balance beam event. Notably, Zhu's 14.700 is the closest anyone has come to Biles in a world final that the American has won since 2014. Meanwhile, Zhou's compatriot Ki Kiyan secured the bars title ahead of Algeria's Kalia Nimor, who became the first African gymnast to win a world championship medal. Unlike the women's competitions, however, the titles were rather more spread out in the men's. Olympic all-around champion Daiki Hashimoto defended his world all-around gold and also added the world high bar titles to his Olympic gong. The Narita-born gymnast also helped his Japanese team secure a first world team gold since 2015. There's also Artem Dolgopyat, who added the world floor title to his Olympic gold. Pommel Horse top spot went to Ireland's Reese McLenahan, who defended his title from 2022, competing against Britain's reigning Olympic champion Max Whitlock, who recently returned from a lengthy timeout. Rings was a head-to-head -head between Olympic champion Liu Yang and three-time world champion Eleftherios Patronas, aka Lord of the Rings, with the Chinaman besting the Greek this time out. Britain's Jake Jarman won a first world title on vault, competing an incredibly difficult 3.5 twisting Yurichenko, while Lucas Dosser of Germany finally won gold on the parallel bars after claiming two world and one Olympic silver on the apparatus. Needless to say, most of them, if not all, aim to perform better than everyone else in Paris 2024. Watch this to see who else you should look forward to seeing in Paris.